So he went south, toward Chile. I guess Aguirre had some friends in high places, because there were U.S. tanks waiting for us. We hadn't had support in a long time, so it felt a little like Christmas. Except our present was a crazy Russian colonel. Truth is, I'd had worse holidays. Bravo 2, this is River Guard. Come in, over. Go ahead, River Guard. Kirilenko's last known position puts him in a settlement, possibly a compound, near the Talonet Wind Farms. Do whatever you can to take him alive. But you know the drill. Do what you have to do. Understood, River Guard. Bravo 2, out. Kodiak 3, we're changing route. Welcome to the Red Zone. Launches ahead. We incoming! The four is hit! Four is hit! Return fire! I mark them. Engaging. Ah, oh, shit. Looks like there might be a little surprise over here. Take out these targets, fellas. Okay, two launchers down, but we can't chance losing more armor. Recommend we detour right. Agree with that one. Going right. All right, someone hop out and commandeer that UAV station. Go ahead, Bravo 2. Get on there, Marlo. You should be able to take out those launchers real good with that baby. Back 
Identified. Cleared to engage. One, do we have any intel on the farm up ahead? It's negative. We don't have anything. Keep your eyes peeled. It's hostile armor ahead. Low and slow. Return fire. Yeah. 
guy had some really interesting shit on him. South phone, bunch of calling cards, 50 grand in US currency. But that ain't the good part. He says he knows who Kirilenko is, and he says he'll tell us if we let him go. All right, give us a few seconds, huh? Hey, how long you wreck? Ten seconds. Four. Five. Bingo. Rally up, fellas. Okay, I've got Kirilenko's location. Marines, we're gonna need your Humvees and your shooters. Whatever you need, sir. What'd you say to that prisoner, Sergeant? Nothing. Just tell him why we were here. He just gave it up. Yep. Said he had family in Houston. Jackson. Sometimes people are just people, man. Mount up. 